Another top story for us today, a scare or really yet another scare for students at a local school. Students in Cornelius had to go on modified lockdown yet again today. This is after a report of a threat, and this is the second time this week for students at Huff High School. Now, this latest incident highlights weeks of reports of bomb threats at various schools throughout the area in different counties, and it comes in the wake of the Georgia school shooting a few weeks ago. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre is in Cornelius with more on these threats and the impacts that they cause. I spoke to a mom who was parked near the high school and through her tears, she tells me that this is just all terrifying. Now, while the threat here was found not to be credible, she says she came here to be close to her child just in case. Now, these threats are no laughing matter. School officials, police and families taking them very seriously. School threats are no joke. The scariest thing about it is that when you hear that there's a modified lockdown, you think, oh, it's going to be another situation where like it's just a joke. But then sometimes I think like that they're using this as a decoy and then they're actually going to do something. William Amos Hoff High School placed on modified lockdown Wednesday after a report of a threat made was deemed not credible. A lot of it is I'm just like scared. I'm just nervous. I just want to know what's happening. Schools across the Carolinas hit with unfounded threats of violence since the Georgia shooting September 4th. CMS investigating a bomb threat made against Bailey Middle School Monday where students were evacuated. Teens have been charged in connection to school shooting threats made in Cleveland, Gaston, Lincoln, Caldwell and Burke counties this month. Across the border, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division says it is aware of over 60 threats targeting schools across 23 counties, leading to charges for 21 juveniles. The National Association of School Resource Officers say it takes a team of school counselors, administrators, law enforcement and SROs to investigate these threats. And really being able to look at every aspect of this threat, looking at the student's history uh, in terms of those level of threats and again looking at the student's capacity to carry out the threat. Mo Kennedy, the executive director, says parents should speak to their kids about the seriousness of these actions that can lead to suspension, expulsion, and even criminal charges. When you make a threat like this, uh, th there's, there's a charge that can absolutely go along with that all the way from a misdemeanor to a felony. He says you can't ignore the mental health of students behind these incidents. And he wants to see more resources for students. Sometimes when we think we have a, uh, a threat, it's really a, a way of students crying out for help. Not that that's an excuse, but it's a fact. Credible and non-credible threats can also cause stress and anxiety and impact the student's well-being. CMS says it has counselors available for students who need them. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.